Hello everyone. Welcome to SAP Plant Maintenance. So, in today's class, we are going to, to discuss on uh, PRTs in plant maintenance. So, before going to, to discuss, uh, just want to announce one thing. So, we are going, we are planning to start a new batch for uh, SAP production planning on S4 HANA. So, if anyone are interested to learn uh, production planning on S4 HANA, so you can contact to my email ID or you can ping me in WhatsApp. I will also leave the phone number and the mail ID in the description. So if anyone who are interested to learn SAP on SAP PP on S4 HANA, so they can contact and the new batch is going to start from next week. And uh, I'm looking, I'll be looking forward uh, to the people who are interested to get trained in SAP PP on S4 HANA. Okay, so that was the announcement. So let's move to this today's class. So today's class was on uh, PRTs. So <coughs> what is PRT? So PRT is the full form of PRT is production resources and tools. Okay, so the PRT is widely used in both PP and in PM. So in we are discussing on only plant maintenance now, right? So we will be covering uh, the types of PRTs in plant maintenance and moreover in this video, we are especially focusing on the uh, measuring points. How, what is the need to use measuring point as a PRT and uh, how to, to do that in SAP. So we will uh, look into that. So basically the, there are four types of PRTs. One is a material PRT, equipment PRT, measuring points and documents. So documents can be like the instruction manuals or any uh, PDF files or any drawings that will we will be attaching to the operation. And whoever the technician performing that operation, he can download that uh, PRT where it is a document and he can go through and he can uh, perform the particular activity. This can also be kind of checklist also, right? So we are not focusing much in this video. So only we are focusing on the measuring points, which can be used as a PRT. Okay, if I go to the real time example. So let us take, there is a maintenance plan for the centrifugal pumps. And uh, every one month we need to do, we need to do the inspection for the centrifugal pumps. So what are the activities that we need to do every month? Inspect the shaft of the pump and do some turning operation. If there is any rough surface, uh, for the shaft, right? So we will need to do the turning operation. So that is one of the activity and second activity is overhauling of pumps. So in order to, to do this turning operation, we might also need the help of a lathe machine, correct? So lathe machine, we are, we will be considering this as a utility equipment. Moreover, it is a PRT here. So uh, there is also a preventive maintenance schedule already there for this lathe machine that is for every for every 100 hours we need to replace the cutting tool right so the cutting tool which is responsible for the turning so we may need to replace the cutting tool so that is the preventive maintenance activity that we need to perform for the lathe machine so in this case our main intention is to do the inspection of the centrifugal pump and how come we can take the help of lathe machine if any turning is needed and in that case, how the readings can be calculated for the cutting tool. So that is the business scenario. So we will see how we can map that in SAP, right? So let me uh, open uh, SAP. Okay, so let me log in. Okay. So, in the example, we already had an equipment created. This is the equipment created for the centrifugal pumps. Okay. So, if I show the equipment, this is the equipment number. So, go to IE02, enter that equipment. So, we already have the centrifugal pump. So, this is the normal way with where we create equipment with equipment category as M. So everything is normal the way we create. So that is fine. 
but now we are going to create a new equipment for the lathe machine correct and that is a prt here so in that case the equipment category should be p what is p production resources and tools okay so click on enter so it is lathe machine right and object type we will give the details okay so we are giving the cost center planning plant planner group main work center correct and my planning plan structure maintenance plan location work center so all these things we will give the like the way we give for normal equipment creation but the important tab here is the prt data because this is a prt uh, category equipment right so in the prt data the task list usage i am going to limit only this for the maintenance task list okay so maintenance task list i have entered and i'll just save this let machine so this is my equipment got created for the prt that is the let machine so i'll just copy this and now since we are speaking about the measuring points for this lathe machine right so we need to create one measuring point for this lathe machine so ik01 so i have entered the equipment and measuring point is general and measuring point is a counter correct so description running hours for the cutting tool and characteristic running hours right so pm underscore hours is my characteristic that i had created and counter reading let's say 500 and annual estimate also is 500 okay and supported measuring reading measurement reading transfer supported save this so what is my uh, measuring point that is created so one two double zero nine so let's uh, paste here one two double zero nine now I am going to create the our business processes. We have a single cycle or a plan, maintenance plan for the pump, right? So let's create one simple single cycle plan. So go to IP41 and my call is maintenance order. So inspection of centrifugal pumps every one month, correct? One month and the maintenance. So equipment is 930, that is centrifugal pumps, order type PM03, okay, and do not release immediately. And I am going to create one general task list for the pumps, so usage 4, planner group, PG1, status, and condition not in operation, and inspect the shaft pump and turning, and, and uh, second one is overhauling, okay. So in this case, my duration, let's take it, take five hours. Okay. And let's overhauling, let's take five hours here. Right. So click on enter. Now for this operation, we need to, as a, if you click, see the down tabs, we have the tab called PRT. So click on PRT, click on the measuring point. What is our measuring point? 12009 so if i enter 12009 definitely this error will be generated why because we must and should enter the equipment number here okay so this is the very important setting so enter the equipment number what is the equipment number of my lathe machine this one so copy this equipment number click on enter now select that row, go to the measuring point PRT and enter the measuring point PRT. Now it gets saved, correct? And second operation, that is fine. We are not going to assign any PRTs here. If you want to assign any document, that's completely fine. We can go and assign the document. We will make another video uh, to see the overall configuration for the document management system. Okay, so save this task list and in the maintenance plan header, I am giving the call origin 0 only because we need to trigger one order now itself to show right how it works 
and this is a mechanical related plan and simply save this plan and we will schedule anyway the plan in ip10 so we are not scheduling now so what what is the plan 424 is my plan for this okay in the same way since we also spoke about the preventive maintenance and the replacement of cutting tool right for every 100 hours so we also need to create one plan counter based plan correct so what ip41 so what is the plan description replacement of cutting tool 100 hr hours counter is what 12009 so copying the same maintenance item text what is the equipment uh, let this one correct so copy here equipment enter order type i am going to generate uh, even pm03 for this case also okay and let's create one equipment task list which is only limited for this lathe machine okay so for pg1 status 04 system condition not in operation so replacement of cutting tool it take let's say four hours to do this replacement work click on enter right and just save this right save this and this is the counter based plan we are creating for the lathe machine means for every 100 hours we need to replace the cutting tool okay so maintenance plan scheduling parameters this is fine okay start counter reading from zero hours correct zero hours and this is let's say the sort field utility related plan correct save this fine 425 now i am going to ip10 and i need to schedule the 424 this is for the maintenance sorry centrifugal pumps right so because we need to see how it works and all so we are scheduled we have scheduled a plan and save this now go to where ip24 so maintenance plan is 424 see here so one order got generated definitely because the caller reason is zero percent so i'm going to iw32 enter the order go to the operations here if you see we'll put the calculation key calculate work calculate work click on enter now cost determination this and all uh, we had already covered right so planned cost got generated and operations fine so just release the order and save the order correct so now after releasing what is the next step we need to confirm the order what with what confirmation uh, let's say we had inspected the shaft and uh, we need some we did some turning of the shaft for a fine surface so for that turning we used the lathe machine for four hours okay so click on enter go to the measurement documents here we need to give the measuring point which is a prt right and four hours we had used the lathe machine so four hours okay so this is where we will enter the counter readings for the measuring point which is a prt in our business scenario okay so save this now first operation was confirmed if i go to iw32 check go to the cost yeah, actual cost got calculated now this is fine let us assume that second operation is also completed but our major intention is to check whether the measurement documents got generated or not for this measuring point 12009 for four hours correct so, yeah i have went to ik17 is a t code for report so ik17 we see that <coughs> there is four hours got captured so like this if the lathe machine is being used in any of the other equipments where they might need this kind of uh, turning operations so they will be using and once it reaches to 100 hours it will automatically trigger on maintenance order for the cutting tool replacement correct so for the cutting tool replacement so this is how we can also take care of the not only a lathe machine a prt 
can be an welding machine, lathe machine, uh, uh, drilling machines, right? So whichever which is used to handle our maintenance activities. So those kind of equipments we will be using as a measuring points for those equipments as a PRTs, and we can also ensure that we also taken care of the preventive maintenance schedules for these PRT equipments as well. Right. So uh, I hope uh, this is a very short video and uh, because the we are only covered the measuring points as a PRT in the rest of the videos, we will also try to discuss on other PRTs as well. Okay. So but uh, before that, again, uh, um, there is announcement that uh, if anyone who are interested to learn S4 uh, SAP S4 HANA for the production planning module. So please reach out to my email ID or to my number. So I'll also provide my email ID and number in the description as well. So you can reach out to me. We are planning to start from the next week. Okay. Okay. So if you like the video, please do share, subscribe the channel and uh, we will meet in another video. Thanks for watching.